typically a very sure-handed blocker for Florida and just that time whiffed. Yeah, we, we don't talk a lot about fullbacks these days in college football. Today we will on both sides. Absolutely. With Joyer and on the flip side, we'll talk a lot about Maurice Hagens from Miami. Old school. A lot of two-back formations. Eight play to drive here. And Joyer back there with Matt Jones for second down and 11. And it's Jones. Loses the ball. Recovered by the Canes. It's Curtis Porter with the fumble recovery. We talked about Miami's defense forcing a turnover right here, just a power play. And that's Denzel Perryman that comes through. On the second level, he's been a playmaker for this Miami defense his entire career. It gets a hat right on the football, and Porter's the beneficiary. Whether he's covering a wide receiver or if he's covering a tight end and didn't have to worry about the speed of Walford, so he just looked back for the football. Well, last year, Watkins had three picks, including one for a touchdown, so he's a playmaker in the secondary. Second and goal at the seven-yard line. Another pass play. Morris going end zone again. It's caught. Touchdown, Herb Waters. An excellent throw by Stephen Morris to sophomore Herb Waters. One of their best receivers, Rashawn Scott, is out today because of an injury, so guys like Waters have to step up, and he did on that play. Well, they got the matchup that they liked. Waters on Cody Riggs, the safety. The ball is thrown absolutely perfect. And he definitely got two feet in bounds and left a divot just to make sure the official saw he got in. Great throw and catch. Morris to Waters and if they continue to get that matchup with their wide receivers on safeties like Cody Riggs I think they'll take that all day long. That's the second touchdown pass of the year for Stephen Morris. Touchdown. As uh, they just announced that uh, the ruling is confirmed so it is a touchdown. Morris last year at 21 touchdowns his final four games he was spectacular. He and Duke Johnson both last year at the end of the season were great. One thing Miami didn't do well last year, play well against ranked teams as the point after is good. The sideline, how did he come back that last play? Boy, he's on the sideline and he's worn out. That wasn't just about getting his helmet knocked off. I think this pace of Miami is really putting Florida on its heels. I believe it's unexpected. They're having a hard time lining up and they've got a lot of hands on the hips, guys. Hot, humid, early down here. James Coley's pace right now taking its toll. That's big not having him in the game if you're Florida. It's huge. Play action pass. Morris looking deep. Airing it out. Got a man. Dorsett is there. Touchdown Miami. Oh, Morris took a lick. Two as he released it. 52 yard touchdown pass. Second touchdown pass today for Stephen Morris. A six play, 84 yard scoring drop. And the point after makes it 14 to 6. Hurricane. You get a steady dose of Duke Johnson. You've got to respect him and his ability to run the ball if you're in Florida. A post route from Dorsett. May is just a redshirt freshman. He's got to have the discipline to be as deep as the deepest. And that time he allows Dorsett, who's got 4 5 speed, to get on top of him. That's an easy throw and catch for Miami. Touchdown. 12 touchdown passes for Driscoll. Didn't make a lot of mistakes. Five interceptions last year. Lost a fumble last week against Toledo in the win. Driscoll on third and goal with time. Everybody covered. And Driscoll throws into traffic where it's intercepted. Picked off by Jenkins. And then Driscoll with the tackle of the 23. Another Gator turnover deep in Miami 
territory. You can't make. The Cardinals sin is throwing over the middle late. Despite the fact that he looks open, when you throw it late over the middle, there's all. Go back to the last uh, interception, and you're going to see here's Rashawn Jenkins right here. And what you see is Jeff Driscoll changes flip sides of the field with his eyes and then tries to throw the ball late. And Jenkins just reads the eyes. He looks left, he looks right, he tries to escape and then decides to throw it late. And it's an easy read. For Jenkins, take a look at the eyes. I'm left, I'm right, I'm trying to escape, and then at the last minute, I just throw a hope throw down the middle of the field, and uh, Jeff Driscoll is a better... So they are going to go for it. It's possible they may twice now in the red zone come away with nothing if they can't convert here. They got their power back. Matt Jones behind Driscoll. And Driscoll on the quarterback sneak... Hit by Shayon Green. And appears to be short. There's great penetration from the right side of Miami's defensive line. And they stopped him. Boy, how about Miami's defensive line, which last year struggled? Doing a great job against Florida's rushing attack today here in South Bend. First and 15. They got showers in motion here. And Driscoll with a middle screen to Burton. And he's able to shake free and then fumble the ball inside the 15 yard line. And it's recovered by Miami. 0 for 3 now inside the 40 yard line of the game of the uh, Hurricanes. Arm Brister with the recovery. Bird was trying to get the extra yardage and the hand came in there. That's going to be close. That was knee. Jimmy Gaines who got his hand in there. That knee was close to the ground when that football came out. Rolling on the field with the fumble. Ruling on the field Cover is a fumble. It looked like when it came out before the knee hit, but they'll take some time to look at it to be sure. Yeah, it's kind of hard to tell from that look. The previous look is the best one. But to again, Brian, come away with nothing when you've been down here three times. That ball is coming out. There's no question. That ball is out before the knee is down. And now Miami has forced their third turnover in the first half. And they had a turnover on downs. That's that four turnovers. Here. Third down and three for Florida at the Miami 17, trailing the Hurricanes by five. Third down has been a down where they've gone to Trey Burton. He's been their guy. He's lined up in the wing. Now he's flexed out to the slot. Neither team this half has converted on third down. Driscoll on the rollout. Throws a pick. It's Tracy Howard with the INT. Howard all the way back near midfield. That's the second interception that Driscoll has thrown in the red zone today. The timing was not good between Driscoll and Trey Burton. He was trying to get the ball to him on a quick out. It didn't look like Burton even saw the ball coming. He's just going to come out here, and the ball is overthrown, and Howard is the recipient, but... Burton doesn't even have his head around when that ball is thrown. The timing was off. The ball is thrown behind him. And a huge ball. They're not going to give you the benefit of the doubt. But was that a catchable ball? I think so. It's a ball at the two-yard line and a fresh set of downs. First and goal. It's Duke Johnson. Touchdown, man!
if they can tack on one, you put Florida in a situation where they have to score twice for the touchdown, and then another touchdown. They, they, they need two TDs in three minutes and 29 seconds, down 12. Here are the mistakes they've made throughout the day. The fumble early here by Matt Jones, who was recovered by Miami. Driscoll, a oh, bad decision there, picked off by Rayshon Jenkins. Here's Burton, able to make a move but then lose the ball. And then the other interception thrown by Driscoll. Yeah, and you just... You can't you can't turn the ball over that many times on the road and despite the fact that you've got a good defense you continue to put them in bad situations and you're not going to win if you're out for Miami defensively to defend the boundary don't allow them to get a 20 25 yard chunk and get out of bounds they got to go 80 down five with only 28 seconds to work with Driscoll in trouble. Gets rid of the ball. Boy, I'm surprised they didn't whistle it dead. And they are. They're going to whistle it dead here. But they got to start the clock. They, if they whistle it dead, they start the clock. And the clock is now started. 15 seconds. Florida's not ready. Driscoll just recognized it. You take a sack in that situation, the game's over. Probably the final play. Driscoll saying, everybody go. Four seconds left. Flag down, and that might end the game. That's it. with screams from the Miami fans that the 10-second runoff because of the penalty clock might have been at zero 